Good morning. The Federal Reserve expected to raise interest rates at its meeting this week, which gets underway today. Now, the decision will be announced tomorrow afternoon. It's expected to be a half percent hike. The Fed is raising interest rates to stifle inflation. While home affordability is nearly the worst on record as mortgage rates spike, the average rate on the popular 30-year fixed rate mortgage started the year at about three and a quarter percent, but hit over five and a half percent yesterday, according to Mortgage News Daily. And new calculations from Black Knight, a mortgage technology and data provider, show that 95% of the 100 biggest U.S. housing markets are less affordable than their long-term levels. That figure was just 6% at the start of the pandemic. Well, stocks staged a late comeback yesterday with the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq hitting new lows for the year before closing up for the day. The Dow was up 84 points. And by the end of August, the labor market recaptured all jobs lost during the pandemic, according to Fitch Ratings. The U.S. is only about 1.6 million jobs shy of February 2020 levels. That means payrolls would need to grow by about 400,000 jobs per month to get back to pre-pandemic levels. And Crocs has teamed with General Mills for worse cereal shoes. The Crocs Rise in Style collection is inspired by cereals like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Trix, Honey Nut Cheerios, and Cocoa Puffs. They sell for between $45 and $70. Right now, only Cinnamon Toast Crunch is available. The rest will come in July. From the NASDAQ Market Site, I'm Jane King with your Morning Business Report.